would like to welcome everybody to the show, Gospel Moments. My name is Reverend Tafadzwa Mtsakanyi. And tonight on the show, I have a wonderful guest. Uh, we have Mrs. Evis Chiheya of Girls on Fire uh, Network. Mama Tino Gamchirai. Thank you so much, Munomari. Tino Tenda. Uh, Mama, tell me, Diani Anonzi Mai Chiheya. Okay, thank you, Rev. My Chiea or Evis Chiea, Dini. Uh, I'm a married woman with two children, uh, a graduate of the University of Zimbabwe, graduated in 2016, uh, an honors degree in biological sciences, um, also a youth leader at AFM Inner City Assembly. That's Mrs. Chiea. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Now, Mrs. Chiea, you run an organization, Inons Girls on Fire. Can you run us through could teach you know, the Girls on Fire? Okay, thank you, Rev. Girls on Fire is a girls ministry which focuses mainly on empowering the girl child. And the girl child one did is so much attached to is the rural girl child. The girl child who grew up in a rural setup. Uh, so I empower the girl children, uh, acad teaching them academical excellence, grooming uh, and etiquette. Because marriage is not a solution to financial problem. Mm -hmm. So as a girl child, they need to excel. They need to do their own things, start their own businesses. So that's mainly what Girls on Fire is all about. I go to my rural areas, teaching, empowering the girl child. Ah, wonderful. So for now, which areas or which rural areas have you covered so far? Okay. Um, I, I covered Gwanda. Sabiwa in Depe areas because Gwanda and Okuno Shandava Berikvang, so I grew up there. So I would go to Sabiwa and Depe areas in Gwanda. Then uh, also the Wedza area. I went to Wedza, Chad Guru Uswa, Tongo Gara area. I also went to Dombosha at Success Tutorial College. So I would go to Kuma schools, Ikoko, and interact with the girl child. Ah, beautiful. Um, now I see that you are trying to empower the girl child, right? So how long has, has uh, girl, or Girls on Fire uh, been operational? Okay, Girls on Fire, Ningatia Katanga 2012, after I finished my A-level, you know A-level Scripture Union, we were groomed to Scripture Union. So after leaving Scripture Union, the fire was still there. So I then did Kugwanda, I went to a temporal teaching Pagwanda High School. That's where Girls on Fire was birthed. Ndiri Koko as a teacher interacting with the girl child, Ariku Rural, young people, Shitama conferences, reaching out to them. So I can say 2012, Do Pakatanga Girls on Fire. Mm, mm. This is exciting. This is exciting. Now, we are living in a, in a world today where uh, drug abuse is no longer exceptional to boys and men. Where we now have girls, um, in any from where I come from, we actually have Mskanaka overdose on Mtoriro and she died. Um, what is your organization trying to do to curb such things? Okay, uh, you know, I think the major reason, you know, Zoita Kuti Vaskana or Vakomana, Vite into drugs, Kutoshai was a Chaiku. So, as I said earlier, Kuti, we're empowering the girl child for academic excellence. Kutivaskana wakana all those opportunities to keep them busy. Jokuita jechukoro, jeku chaka omari, kanava jechukoro jaramba, jokushan sauma woko avo. It's jinova distractor from this world, ya chukura rama yewe, drug abuse. And also kuvapa cheko information. Because the word says, Kuti, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Saka vamwe, they don't know my side effects, mamu ema drugs, iwao. And I think, uh, Age group in Onyanya could affect one age with drug abuse, Varukuma universities, JPA pressure. So, girls on fire, we educate the girl child not to succumb to peer pressure. Because Mumu Mtori Roseja Mataura Rev, it's not like Aninga Chiuda, but just because their friends are doing it, they end up Vava Vakungo Juitao. So, knowledge, Chuku offer the girl child knowledge on the healthy implications, the Kutorama drugs. And even on the spiritual implications, Chaizu, the drugs, like you said, Kuti, Mumaka Zweta overdose, 
Jikazo mkanganisa kushika pakufa. So uh, empowering waskana ni knowledge. Yema side effects. Nesha kashatira madrugs. Now, Chine, we are living in a COVID environment. We are living in a COVID era. What is uh, Girls on Fire doing to help um, the girl child, especially these days, Nina, we are COVID? Okay. So, the COVID era, my gatherings are limited. Even if you go to rural areas these days, it is a little bit limited. But uh, I've created a WhatsApp group, Red Girls on Fire, uh, where we, I minister to the girl child online. And I also have a Facebook page, Randino Taura, even Nema Teenagers, near the girl child online. We try to Sangana because we pay you a kosha. So as we are in this pandemic, to minimize the kusangana, say girls on fire. That's why it's Chitama teaching. So every week, every Saturday, Tininga Chirana a theme. Themes which are specific for the girl child. Shingova empower through the WhatsApp group, through the Facebook page. Ah, beautiful. Now, as, as the girl child um, or the girls on fire network, what do you expect to achieve? At the end of the day okay i expect to achieve a girl who's on fire not the worldly fire but the fire of the holy ghost i always say kuti i emulate the girl that i was so i also want to raise a girl child who can be like me a girl child who's not moved by worldly pressures because i remember Pataka University, you know the sugar that these things. Eh, eh. You would see Bang Vaskana Vanoya Vaiwea very on fire for God. But two, three months down the line, because of pressures, Vai Zamirava Torwa Nenika. So I want to, to raise a girl child who's not moved by social economic situations. A girl child who can make it even in this economy. A girl child who can be spiritual, academic and financial independence. That's my motto. Ah, no, you know, this is a noble thing. Kana, okay, Kana bana, should I go batai? Let's say, tine mana we do maybe any problem and everything. How can they get hold of you? Okay, vano gona kun bata pa phone number zang, 0775 Oh, we're not gonna go. This is an email. Pa email address yangu. Evis Majgrapanze at yahoo dot com. On that note, footy as girls on fire, we also offer one on one counselling sessions because says what I tell you, the girl child needs information and the girl child also needs an ear which listens. True. Do pamoja kwa kana wedu wakuru rasika because atina vano vano va terera. So I'm there for. Counseling sessions, my one on one counseling sessions, one on matter numbers and the tower. And I hope these one on one sessions are free. Yes, they are free. Okay, okay. okay. yes, ah, beautiful. Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Mrs. Chihea of um, Girls on Fire, not Girls, but Girls on Fire for the Holy Ghost Network. And she was talking about the girl child today. Now, I leave it to you. Uh, it is imperative and important that they join such networks. It's imperative and important that they become members of such groups. It is up to you and I leave it at your table. This has been wonderful gospel moments with the Reverend Tavazom Sakanyi and I am signing off saying ciao. God bless you. <laughs>